Hello, welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. I'm Stacey, if this is the first time we're meeting. And welcome back. I've been off for, I think it's about six days since my last video. It's been a little while since I've um, posted a video and that's mainly because um, of my knee. So just a quick update on that. Um, I worked last weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, chefing and um, by the end of my shift on Sunday I could barely walk. I was in so much pain being on my knee that I physically felt sick and yeah I just I ended up leaving a little bit early and coming home. Um, so since then, so that's today's Friday over here, um, so since then I've basically been sitting and had my knee up and um, just trying to rest it as much as possible. Every time I would get up to, like, even just go to the loo or anything like that, you know, it's just throbbing. Um, I booked myself an appointment with the specialist, and that I can't get to, I, well, at that point I couldn't get to see him till the start of April, and luckily um, they had a cancellation and I was able to see him yesterday. So I've got two things going on with my knee. I've got some sort of um, tear in my meniscus, and um, some abnormality in my patella. So, yeah, not great news. Um, but at least I know it's not all in my head. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm being sent for an MRI and basically I'm not allowed to work um, and just got to keep um, off it as much as possible and do some um, exercise bike um, exercise because just in the short time I've lost all my muscles um, up in my, uh, in my thigh. I can't even think of what it's called now, but, yeah, it's sort of wasted away, so... Long story short, um, yeah, it's it's quite sore, but he gave me some really good pain meds and some really good anti-inflammatories, and today it is feeling like so much better, um, not to the point where I can go to work, but at least I can stand up for longer than five minutes. Um, yeah, so today I thought I would go over with you um, 10 ways that I'm saving money during this recession. I'd be and very interested if you can let me know how you you are saving money during this recession and what um, what things you are implementing implementing in your home um, to try and cut costs and um, and stuff like that because I mean it's everybody's just doing it hard it's just it's just incredible what's happening um, all over the world at the moment you know it's just yeah don't even get me started so number one um, tip and you know you've probably heard all of these before but this is just what I'm doing and it's working really well in my household is as you know I'm a huge believer in buying in bulk so I'm going to show you, show you um, an example so this huge big packet of pasta which you can see I've already opened and gone through it it's a five kilo bag and I got this at Gilmore's last year and that's macaroni noodles so um, I think it cost me about $14 um, for five kilos so a bag of 500 gram bag or half a pound um, would set you back um, probably about $1.70 to $2 per bag so saves money um, what I need to do is um, vacuum seal the rest of this so that it keeps really well but as you know I haven't been able to do much at the moment like I've still got all my cranberry canning just sitting here because yeah just getting up has been impossible so another thing as you know is um, I buy bulk tomatoes so these were four fifty when I brought them I think they're around six seven dollars now um, so huge saving um, tomato paste is another thing that was about four dollars fifty as well um, I don't actually know how much that would be now but probably a lot and what I do with that is I just freeze down little pucks of those so instead of buying a jar which is probably going to cost me two dollars fifty for about that size I get months and months worth of tomato paste that way so as you can see that it, it adds up it really does save you money um, I've also got a huge bag of sugar 
um, so that saves me money. Um, flour, you know, you name it. Um, olive oils, I buy most things in bulk. So that's definitely one of the best saves savings. So yeah, I've got a big, huge 25 kilo bag of sugar that costs me $39 at Costco, and that's going to be enough sugar to last quite some time. Um, I'm just going to grab my list. So. Um, um, and sort of filtering down from that, another um, tip is I make my own brown sugar. As you know, or may not know if you're new. So here's the brown sugar that I make. Focus, focusing on my head. So there's the brown sugar that I make. So that's basically white sugar and molasses um, there is no such I don't use like a, a recipe I just pour some sugar into my um, either my Thermomix or into my KitchenAid not KitchenAid I've got a Kenwood and then um, I put a couple of tablespoons of molasses in the white sugar and then sort of mix it up um, icing sugar caster sugar don't buy those anymore because if you think about it if you buy a bulk bag of sugar you can make brown sugar icing sugar and caster sugar from that big bag if you're at the supermarket and you're buying a small bag of sugar a small bag of brown sugar a small icing sugar you're spending a lot more money than if you bought it in bulk and made your own so if you don't know how to make any of that those sorts of things and you want me to show you how to do it let me know in, in the comments below and I can show you how to do those so next on the list is making my own condiments so I've started making some of my own condiments I've got um, my barbecue sauce that we made on another video absolutely loving it there are a few things I'm going to tweak and that's going to be great because um, you know eventually I'll get the right the right um you know fit for for what we like um i make my own mustard um so this was i won't be making this one again it's got turmeric in it hence why it's so yellow um but i need to make up some dijon and i want a whole grain mustard there, there's nothing wrong with this one i don't know i absolutely love it it's really nice I don't know we'll see how we go but if you're interested in how to make mustard let me know in the comments below and we will do that also um, tomato sauce we need to make up some tomato sauce I still haven't made any up yet but um, we will hopefully be able to do that in the coming days um, if I can you know like take care of this this knee right meal planning you know I'm a big advocate of meal planning and I have done a video on how I meal plan here and I am working on some new printables as well which includes um, budget, budgeting for your meal planning and stuff like that so watch out for that um, shortly. So as you know I've got that, the video, I can link it below and I've got all these free printables that you can um, print out. Um, so you've got your meal planner kit, you've got pantry inventories, um, freezer, fridge, preserving. So like there's my preserving one and I've written down what I need to preserve this summer. So I've actually, I've actually got something that I can cross off. So I can cross off um, cranberry juice, cranberry sauce and cherries and um, pineapple. I need to do more pineapple. Um, and some jams, I've got some um, apricots, so I'll do some apricot jam as I've used the last of that. So yeah, meal planning saves you heaps of money. Um, so another reason why these inventories are really good is that you can, um, you can you know, make sure that you're rotating everything and that you're using up everything. You know how much you've got on hand and stuff like that. So that's um, the other tip is making sure that you've got your inventory inventory lists uh, so another one is gardening um, I had high expectations um, of myself for this gardening year 
it didn't pan out, out unfortunately but that's just the way it goes I started new jobs and um, you know I just got too busy and I couldn't do it but I did plant my garlic and I had a fantastic harvest, harvest with that and I did get some onions in now my onions um, as I told you in the last video or one of the videos um, I had to pull them early because my chickens were eating them so I still have that big basket of onions there that I need to process and I'm going to whiz them up and turn them into little pucks like I do with garlic and ginger so that um, they save me money so gardening even if you get a little bit done um, will save you money but again that's that's pretty self-explanatory and so many people are getting into gardening now which is awesome um, because it's definitely helping to save save money so what else have I got in here buying in bulk make my own condiments meal meal planning inventory lists making um, my own baking bits and pieces um, so yeah ma making your own baking bits and pieces like the golden syrup I've got a video on that and I'll li link that um, either up here or at the end as well so I don't have to buy golden syrup so if you think about all the things that you don't have to buy anymore if you can make them at home with just a little bit of time your grocery bill is coming down yeah I'm hoping that make, that's making sense um, condensed milk so my Thermomix can make condensed milk and you could probably do it yourself on a um, on, on a stove top as well so I haven't made condensed milk yet but that's definitely on my list to do soon um, air freshener yeah so I'll go and get mine I brought two of these last year um, on special they were two for five dollars I think it was so we're going back a while um, and I just it's you know non aerosol so it's it's good better for the environment so once these it's got a, a little twist up once these um, are finished well the other one's finished and this one's just about finished I've got essential oils um, like lavender and stuff like that I'm going to put water in these bottles and put a bit of essential oil and air freshener for free practically free so it's another thing I won't be buying anymore now um, I showed you the pine needles in the last video so I popped this uh, the pine needles into vinegar and so this is probably two weeks ago now now I'm going to smell mmm it smells of pine it smells of Christmas almost <laughs> with a hint of vinegar yum so I've now got some some cleaner for free um, this one might be a little controversial I'm not buying fad products anymore so when I say fad product it's one one in particular is body wash right so body wash now is upwards of about ten dollars to buy a body wash I have brought soap in bulk and a cake of soap is about a dollar fifty to a dollar sixty and that cake of soap will last at least a month in the shower and you just use those um, scrunchy you know things that you you buy real cheap they're like two bucks and you just scrub it on your little scrubby and, and it foams up and then that's body wash makes no sense to me to go and spend ten dollars on something that I can buy for dollar sixty so it's just little things like that um, that's just yeah it's just something that I thought of and it's something else that I don't have to buy anymore um, so another one I think I'm up to nine or ten um, is obviously shopping your freezers and your pantry before you go shopping and before you make your lists for your meal plans um, so you know check out your freezer like at the moment mine's quite full it's fairly organized I'm fairly happy with it um, but there are things that I definitely need to go through so I've got some asparagus from last season I haven't eaten it so in fact I should have put it in last night's meal which was a frittata um, I've got some pumpkin puree here 
So, you know, we're still in summer, so some of these things, well, I could make some pumpkin ravioli. That would be a great idea. I've got so many eggs at the moment. If I make a pumpkin and cheese ravioli, I can freeze them down, and then I've got raviolis. Hmm. That's a great idea because the raviolis, I see over in the States, you can buy, like, big packets of raviolis in the freezer section and then you can make like a, a pasta bake with them but we buy them in a little wee 250 gram packet and it's like seven or eight dollars and you get like 20 raviolis if you're lucky um so i should make some, make my own i've got a um, pasta maker i've got lots of eggs um so i should do it before they stop laying and i've got okay Okay, another video when I can stand on my leg long enough will be making some pasta up for the freezer and I'll dry some. And really the last one that I've got to um, sort of say is saving us money is to just go back to basics. Um, and as you know, I'm doing a year without the grocery store and it's going really well. I went once, no twice. One occasion was to buy cat food because I didn't have the special card that I need to shop at Farmlands um, to go and buy the cat food in bulk. Um, so I went in and I got cat food and that's all I got. And the second time was um, in my town, my little town that I live with, live near. Um, I went into, it's like a, it's like a little wee tiny supermarket and I needed a de deodorant before I went to work. So, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to worry about, you know, going in for a deodorant. Um, so, yeah, so um, I'm doing really well with the budget and really well with pretty much, you know, not buying apart from those two items in the supermarket. Um, but I will do a video at the end of every month and tell you how much I've spent and how how we're going on that. Um, yeah, so just going back to basics, using the veggie shops, the butchers if you need to, to go to a butcher, um, make as many products of your own that you can, planning ahead so that's your meal planning and um, having co convenient meals in your freezer or canned. Um, I canned up some chicken the other day so you know that's, that's great, I just pulled out a whole heap of chicken breasts that I had in the freezer that need to be used up. So I canned up um, some of those, so those are going to be nice convenient things to have. I've got beef up there. Um, and in the freezer, I'm, I think I've maybe got one freezer meal left, so that's definitely on the list, but again, I can't be on this knee for, for, for too long, but I desperately need to do some freezer meals. So if you've got some freezer meals, you know, it, you won't go and get takeaways. Um, you know, that's, we won't. We live 45 minutes from town anyway, so we don't really ever get takeaways. Um, I make fake aways, as I'm sure a lot of you guys make fake aways. Anyway, bit of a chatty video, um, but hopefully you might have got a couple of ideas that you could utilise for yourself, and um, hopefully the next video will be um, a kitchen one with me. I've got something in mind. I've got, as I said, I've got these, this bulk um, pasta that I need to vacuum seal, We've got a bit of vacuum sealing to do, so the next one might be a bit of um, in the kitchen with me for the for the day. And when I say the day, I'll probably do something for a little bit, go and sit down for an hour, do something for a little bit, and go and sit down for an hour. That's my life right now. But it is feeling much better today with the with the new meds, so that's that's good news. So hopefully I can get back to um, doing some videos um, because I really missed it. All right. Well, thank you for. Um, visiting today and I hope you're well and your year has um, been off to a great start and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.